blessed God and goddesses. Yes, I. Once again, it's a red shot black star. And empty vessels make a lot of noise. No one does not know who they are. Majority of people are lost, and some are looking for him. We all are kings and queens. No. I say, what is a king? And what is a queen? You cannot be a king if you don't know your purpose. You cannot be a queen if you are a whore. You cannot be a king if you are a gigolo. No. Your kingship is your royalty. Royalty under the banner of the most eye that makes you a king. Anytime you, stop, you start upholding uprighteousness, you are birthed as a king and you get you come back to your status when you born you born as a king people can not see your kingdom and your kingship your creator will create you is kings of kings and lords of lords master of all and he say i have created you and grant you all these things are belonging to you the earth is the fullness and the fullness thereof and the earth is belonging to us and we are kings and queens in other earth. But when you have Babylonian system, when you have a colonial system, when you have a demon force that is educating and dismantling the Mosai people to turning them into becomes whores and harlots and pimps and all these things. So how they could represent the kingship or the queenship? Queenship, queenship of a black woman, queenship of a black woman, Qu queenship of a black woman is a black woman for no herself. No matter what, you could be poor, but when you keep your pride, when you keep your, your, your dignity, when you keep your, 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 your state of mind, seen clean, no one cannot break you. But when you sell that, when you sell your pride, when you sell out your dignity, when you're not ashamed, how could you be a king or a queen? See? So we are kings and queens under the righteous banner. See? Don't let nobody tell you no foolishness. We are kings and queens when we hearken unto the most high and when we walk into the path of righteousness, we become kings and queens because we don't mingle with filth. See? The woman will not walk and expose herself and the man will not be a whore like a whore trying to sleep with dick tom and harry he will not want to sleep with every woman and want to have children with a bunch of women he will know the value of him and his energy his life force and he will keep it under a righteous manner righteous banner so we are kings and queens but when you sell yourself short for vanity then you become garbage so to claim the title, and one say, well, uh, the N-word, misgrowth. The word nigger come from the word um, um, uh, misgrowth. You see, like, like they use the original man. Remember, they used to breed us, you know, like cattle and dog, you know. So they used the original man, which is the strongest out of the rest of man them. The man there, we have the, all the full cap of the full zinc good everything healthy them know him have the ability to allow him to mate because of his genes okay then as you notice everybody did want that genes because the black man genes is the original genes this is why they are caucasian people will love black um, um original copper skin people because the children they will be able to get the melanin and get what they need the real vital the white blood cells will not overpower the red so there are some of these Caucasian women are very brilliant because when the black woman don't want to have as much babies as possible, uh, for her husband, she want to run to Dick Tom and Harry, or the man doesn't want to take time with his wife. You see, and they want to run down a 50 set, set of women. That is breaking down the queenship and the kingship. We are kings and queens. And, and, and you should not be lower than what they label you because this word, Negro and nigger never exist until into the time of this so-called pale skin man of 
during our time of captivity, during our time of 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 how they angle us, how they treat us, how they hang us, how they boss us, who them was slaves and who was prisoners of war. Yeah, that word appeared here during the time of the the, 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 the Western people, European people. So that word never exists. All these words, black and all this, and this, the way, the way they are coming with it, it was never like that. So we want to tell the people that there are different things in, and peace and love. So I am a king, even though they rob me of my riches. And until the people from the motherland and the rest of the turf and earth, we copper skin people, need to put our differences aside. So of course, I am not of the misgrowth. I am the original man. And with the original man, he, he is a king. And they know it. That's why they will not want you to tell your young son he's a king. They're going to want you to tell your young son he's a nigger. And we know what nigger is capable of. So if you tell your young son he's a king, his mentality, the way he thinks, he will not think low. And from the time he holds that, that, that overstanding of what is a king, then of course he will go with righteousness. So there are different type of kingship, you know. There's a king where is a king for a country, and he rules there, and under his kingship, he rules over the people. But if that king is not a good king, and his kingship is not authentic, he's, he's you know, after a while, what happens? People rise against the king. So. The king, watch King David. When King David fall from his kingship and becomes unclean, unrighteous, he, he depart from the Most High, and the Most High depart from him. The Most High depart from him. Not until he went for repentance. So if you want to be a king, or you know you are a king, and you lose your crown, that's what's up with the black man. The black man lose his crown for his kingship. So he claimed the title of kingship, but he does not have his crown, and he does not have the thing that he need to keep his crown. You need self-respect to keep your crown, self-alliance to keep your crown, um, you need pride and dignity to keep your crown. You need to know your inheritance to keep your crown. So if you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're coming from, where you're heading, how could you claim this title saying that you're a king? A king supposed to be one who is wise and supposed to guide the people. But everybody could be a king. So when somebody say everybody cannot be a king, what's going on with the rest of people? It is all you see that the two different type of kingship. I could be a king in my castle, growing my children under principles and loyalty of righteousness and that makes my children grow under righteous manner righteous banner under the principle of the kings of kings and lords of lords so they are growing under the the, the, the principles of king principalis right there not the babylonian principle of principalis where they go no the way of the most high ways of righteousness anyone that practice righteousness and practice these things and keep these things of every day and becomes perfect in these things are look gaining his title and being worthy of the title that god has given the establishment to live on planet earth i continuously so if you violate your purpose and violate your rules and regulation within the oath with the most eye. How could you keep that? How you think you will keep that same power? Remember, when you detach yourself from the most eye, God will lose power. Man dis detach themselves from God because they do not do the things God asks them or recommend for them to do. So they become weaker and weaker. And as the generation comes, it's because of the sins and abomination and the wickedness that they plant in. That is why this punishment that these children are not living alone we are we lost the way the way of righteousness has forsake us now we do unrighteous things so that is the penalty and the price that we pay for our offsprings are dying young if we keep our royalty if we keep not because the queen does not show her her her, her boobs the queen do things that even the whores of the street does not do. But since she's always covered to show the um 
the eyes of the nations of people that she's fully of royalty. What is the royalty? The royalty of the queen or these people that claim royalty titles, they are they are not of righteousness. They are sleeping with the first cousins and this and that and all that and all this and that and all that. There is nothing new under the sun, moon and stars. There is enough people for a brother not to sleep with a sister or for a cousin to sleep with a first cousin. There is enough people upon the face of the earth. These people who claim royalty, they are not of royalty. They are of royal shame. Despicable. Not because the queen, the queen always had herself. Look at the queen. She might not show her tie on her leg, but up her upper body right here is a split within her chest. That shows her chest plate and her boobs a little bit. It might not show the tip of her boobs, but it's, remember, that was from a certain time. If they had a queen from England right now, I guarantee you, she would not take uh, a photo like her grandma or her great grandma it's new style style of style see the things people peace and blessings overstand the thing we are kings and queens we are of royalty and if we keep royal behavior and keep our, ourselves in the right aspect and we live under righteousness and we practice righteousness brief righteousness you cannot serve two masters so if you serve unto masters, your, your royalty is nowhere to be found. You are satanic. Satanist. God has his way and Satan has his people. You choose. Choose one. Six million ways to die. Choose one. Well, however, but do not mix God and, 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 and um, say that we are not of royalty. We are special people unto the Most High God. We are a special people. So if God is most is proclaiming us as a special people above all nations upon the face of the earth, we have to be surely a hundred point percent of kingship royalty. So we are kings and queens of the earth, but the nations of the earth has allowed us to become whores, liars and deceivers. Imagine that we don't even know how to live with each other. That's to show you how bad we got it. And when all the other nations, we educate them and upbring them and taught them. Now they, they're living much better than us. They're telling us, oh, we, we are civilized. We can live with each other. Look at y'all. They We are programmed to always look bad. That's why they always show you places in, in Ethiopia or in the land of Kush or even right here. They show you the bad side. They always show you us poor, us doing crime. White people do crime too. White people do crime. So peace and blessings. One love. We are kings and queens. We are gods on the face of the earth. Higher than kings and queens. Most I said, now you have become as God, but thou shalt die as men. Why are you going to become a God, but you're going to die? It's because of the abomination that you're intertwined with. It's the, the filth that you intertwine with. It's You forget who you are. You break away from the divine tree. You was a branch and you sprout out. And then you, you forget where you attach to. You, 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 yeah, you disattach yourself from the main source. So now if your, if your queenship, if your title, if all of the things that God told you that you are, you're king, you're this, you're that, and you break away under the commandments of the Most High, then you lose all these titles, then you're a whore, then you're a thief, then you're a nigger, then you're all of that. Show me where in the Bible that God called a, one of his creation niggers. Show me where God called Adam nigger one time. And God created all things. Show me where God called any man nigger. In the, in, in, in the Bible or any Bible at all. This is just men that is straying away from the tongue. The righteous tongue. They are straying away from the righteous tongue. And picking up tongues of Lucifer. Okay. No one is a nigger. So if the, if, if, the, if when. A white person called a black man nigger, that's power. I guess when a white, when a black man called a white man white trash, I guess that's power too for him. I'm just saying. Peace. I'm out.